Michael Sycamore. Happy Fabulous Friday, February 17th, 2023. Welcome to this episode of our daily video announcements that's leading us into a three-day weekend. I'm Deanna. And hello, I'm Sam. Wait, three-day weekend? Yep. Wow, that's awesome. I'm really excited about it and to have this great opportunity to join you on the daily video announcements. Now let's please stand, place our hand over our heart, honor this amazing country as we say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all, and please be seated. Check those school emails. Be informed with important information. Don't miss out on scheduling for next year, and be ready for the Cooper Road Bridge closure. Oh, this is going to be such a challenge for us walkers and bike riders, as well as all the cars coming from one direction for 70 days. And yes, be PBIS responsible young adults. Be safe, respectful, and be positive problem solvers. Okay, mark your calendars. In addition to the bridge closing on March 1st, Monday is President's Day. Enjoy the day off! What is President's Day? President's Day is the third Monday of February each year and it is a federal holiday in the United States. The day not only honors George Washington, born on February 22nd, the first President of the United States, and Abraham Lincoln, born February 12th, but whose birthdays are both in February, but honors all Presidents who have served in the United States. So, Happy President's Day weekend! Also, very important! Tomorrow, February 18th, the online scheduling window opens for the 23-24 school year. Make sure to go back and watch yesterday's episode with Mr. Brenner's information. Wait, let's just show it again. Hello everyone, this is an online scheduling message for 7th and 8th graders. Today, specifically for 7th grade, you are going to receive an email with all the instructions on how to do your online scheduling and pick your classes for next year. The biggest thing to know is that the scheduling window for online starts Saturday. So you'll get the email today, but you cannot log in until Saturday. But once that is open, you can go in, choose your courses, and you're going to have an entire week to do that all the way until the 26th. Um, eighth graders, you're going to get an email from the high school tomorrow, which is Friday. That will have your username and password so you guys can log in. Um, Biggest thing too, check your mailboxes at home. I know that's old school, but you'll also receive a hard copy of your username, password, and how to do the online scheduling there as well. So if you like the hard copy, that's the way to go. Um, so just one more time again, starting this Saturday the 18th all the way to the 26th, that's when you'll do your online scheduling. When you log in, you will see all the recommendations that your teachers made for you. Those will already be pre-selected. So what you guys need to do are choose your music classes and any other electives that are going to fit in your schedule. Same as it is this year, it's made up of seven bells, so just make sure you choose enough courses to fill that. Um, if for any reason it does not work this weekend, don't panic. We are going to help you guys out with that, um, and we can help throughout all of next week. So we got plenty of time. Just make sure, though, you check your email for that username and password, and then test logging in this weekend. All right, we'll update next week, too, with any other reminders with all things scheduling. Have a good day, guys. Thanks, Mr. Brenner. And yeah, I'm so excited for the day off Monday. I've been really needing it. Now, on to today's Black History Month recognition. Frederick Douglass was born February 1818 in Talbot County and died February 20, 1895 in Washington, D.C. He had two spouses, Helen Pitt Douglass and Anna Marie Douglass. He also had five children. Douglass was an American social reformer, abolitionist, a raider, writer, and a statesman. After escaping slavery in Maryland, he moved on and became a national leader of the abolitionist movement in Massachusetts and New York. Wow, thanks so much for making a difference. Next up, did, did you, you know? Did you know that extreme ironing is an actual sport? Wait, did you just say extreme ironing? Oh yeah, I did. Extreme ironing was founded in 1997. Ironers are challenged to iron clothes in extreme places, such as high up in trees, hanging over the cliffs, paddling whitewater rapids, all while ironing clothes. The most extreme ironing occurred underwater, where 170 people on the DeWaterman Diving Club in the Netherlands ironed clothes for 10 minutes underwater. Wait, how cool is that? Wait, what? Ironing in trees? Hanging over cliffs? Yep. Wait, how do you iron underwater? I do. Is this true? I'm not sure about this. Water and electricity do not mix very well. Well, yeah, you'll know that if you took science. But hey, that's an interesting topic. Next up, 
National Day! Today is National Random Acts of Kindness Day. National Random Acts of Kindness Day is celebrated nationwide to encourage acts of kindness on February 17th. It actually originated in New Zealand. On this day, people across the globe perform random acts of kindness, whether it be small or big. There are many different ways that you can participate too. Something as simple as holding the door for someone or shouting out someone who's been kind to you can go a long way. Make sure to spread kindness. Be sure to nominate your friends on the shout out form Student Council has provided us for your National Kindness Day Act. Next up, birthdays! Happy birthday to Joseph C. and Ava A. celebrating today. Have a wonderful day and happy birthday to Sebastian G. and Gabriel S. as well as our very own staff member, Ms. Schlager, celebrating over the weekend. Yes, happy birthday to all celebrating today and over the weekend. Hope you have an amazing birthday. Now, over to Mr. Harris. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your daily video announcements. This is just a reminder, International Club will be meeting today, and your focus country is the United Kingdom. Also, the PBIS store will be open today during lunch, so make sure you bring your first class tickets to lunch so you can purchase some really, really cool stuff from the first class ticket store. Uh, finally, an announcement. This is attention all 8th grade boys planning to play football at Sycamore High School this fall. There will be an important meeting on Wednesday, February 22nd during Flex Bell. The high school coach, Coach DeZillo, will discuss important summer workout dates. The meeting will be held in the old gym, and you need to get a pass from Coach Mr. Harris, Mr. Winkle, or Mr. DeJoy to attend this meeting. So football meeting for high school football, Wednesday, February 22nd during Flex Bell. Hey, make sure you guys enjoy your nice, long three-day weekend. I know I'm looking forward to it. You guys have a great day, a great weekend, and we will see you on Tuesday. Thanks, Mr. Harris. Good afternoon, Sycamore, and welcome to an episode of Stern's Mailbox. Uh, let me uh, address a question that was sent um, within the last week or so. A student has asked, they say, I've got a friend, they're, they're being bullied, I'm not in a class with them, they don't want to tell a teacher, what do I do in this situation? So, look, if you have a friend that is reaching out to you regarding a bullying situation, they are reaching out to you for a reason. They're not just reaching out to you, you know, in small talk. They are really reaching out to you as, as assistants. And at that point, they are really, you know, hoping that you will be in a position to give them assistance in some way. And, and we understand that you want to stay anonymous. And we definitely invite you to stay anonymous uh, as well. So uh, once we um, get that information from you, so hopefully um, you can come see myself or an administrator or Mr. Tommen, um, we will definitely look into that situation. We might reach out to those teachers and say, hey, can you pay special attention to this particular situation? Um, and then if, if we feel comfortable or if that student is ready, um, we will also approach the student and let them know, hey, we're, we're concerned, this is what we're hearing, and we want to be able to to help you what can we do hey listen nobody should come to Sycamore and feel like they are uh, being you know put down they don't feel like they're welcome and if you are somebody who is putting someone in this situation and we've talked about this before that is a way to always be remembered and that's not the way that you want to be remembered 5 10 15 years from now is hey that's the person who was a bully in junior high because that is a, a vision that is very hard to to erase um, hey, we started putting together a list of students that will not be invited to 8th grade day. So we are very excited about 8th grade day, but guys, you got to have the grades and you can't be having the referrals. If you don't have the grades and you don't have the referral, I'm sorry, if you don't have the grades and you do have the referrals, you will stay here during 8th grade day. And that really is a big fun day that we are looking forward to at the end of May. Hey, you can't affect the... Uh, the consequences, but you can always affect the behaviors. Have a great weekend. Now it's time for the joke of the day. Why are colds bad criminals? I don't know. Why? Because they're really easy to catch. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. I worked on that. Okay. Stay extraordinary, Sycamore, and follow PBIS expectations every day. Have a wonderful weekend, and go Waves!